Look, God, we want to make divine kind of connections in your word and do your will, dear Lord God. We don't want to do what the world does. We don't want to just follow the footsteps of people that did not adhere to your name, dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord God, cover our hands, our hearts, and our minds to minister to other folks, dear Lord God, that's going through and they don't know you, dear Lord Jesus. Just cover our children in these days, dear Lord God, because we know that they have it harder than, than most. Dear Lord God, thank you, and we know you're blessed you and put your hands over everything that we do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, born and raised. Okay. Um, well, I'm from everywhere. I can't really claim a certain area, so I'm just going to say New Orleans, Louisiana. I moved around a lot as a child um, from a single parent home. I moved from school to school, area to area, so um, I don't really claim a certain spot in New Orleans. I'm just from New Orleans. Thanks to Hurricane Katrina, I ended up, um, my family and I were impacted by the hurricane, so we evacuated to Opelousas, Louisiana with family. And um, before the hurricane happened, I was involved in the movies um, because New Orleans had a tax break, so I was heavily in the, um, the movie industry. And so um, a church here in Lafayette actually offered for me and my family to move to California. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to pursue my dream in the acting field. Um, but when you're doing things on self, um, things don't always work out that way. Of course, I didn't seek the guidance of God. Um, I didn't have a pastor. I wasn't attending church like I was supposed to. So I was basically acting on my own understanding. So from that, it didn't happen, you know, um, according to plan. My main focus wasn't God. My main focus wasn't my family. It was my career. So um, because of that, I ended up, you know, in a lot of pitfalls. My marriage um, fell because of it. And so what do you do? You come back home to what you know. So I ended up um, in Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, and I had to get a normal job, a nine to five job. I couldn't have a career as an aspiring actress. Um, I needed something firm, nine to five, something that was for sure money. And so um, um, my divorce happened and basically I did that for nine or 10 years and ignoring the, um, the plan that God had for me and the vision that God had for me for my business, I kind of put it to the side because I was so content with the job that I had. Um, I was content with the people, I was content with the money, so I basically ignored all the visions that um, the Lord was giving me basically. Um, and so from that, um, I did that for nine, 10 years and well, he grabbed me and said, well, my child, time is up. I gave you a chance to do what I told you to do and now it's time for me to take everything that you praise and worship and idolize before me and basically I fell flat on my face. I had to go to God again I'm like what do I do how do I make a living you know I'm trying to find a job but I can't so um I I pulled out my 401k and I just prayed on him and trusted God and I consulted with my pastor and I trusted him in um the advice that they gave me and I just took a leap of faith and um from there is when World Divine Services um, came about, basically. I think God is, is the foremost important, I believe, I know that God is the first person that you should consult with. And so I put that into my ministry um, because it's a fact that in order to be, a, in order to receive a blessing, you have to be a blessing. And um, I don't feel any of that will, will, will even be, you know, helpful to anybody if you weren't a blessing. So with that being said, um, a lot of people find that when they're doing events and doing things of their sort and they want to do something spectacular that they don't have to sit and consult with God about it. I end up sometimes just minister to people a whole consultation to just go to ministry and we don't even get to the event planning yet, but it starts that way. So if you don't start that way um, and end that way and, and keep going through it through the whole process, it, it's really not going to work. Because we have so many people that come into our lives during this process and things happen when you're planning an event, you know, such as weddings. And that's, you know, that's one of the, the events that I find that the devil work on the most, you know, because you're, you're, you're joining a man and a woman in matrimony and things just go haywire when you're planning a wedding because the devil don't want it to happen. I mean, I'm the voice, you know, this is what I'm supposed to do is, is spread God's word. And um, my ministry is, uh, is, you know, geared to helping people. Um, a lot of people just think event planner. No, I save people money. I save people anxiety. I save people time, hassle. So when they come to me um, for services, I do do that. You know, I save them money 
and in that aspect I feel like that's how I'm blessing them anything that's geared to event planning we're a one-stop shop we provide the caterer we provide the photographers we don't physically do it by hand but we contract out so whatever you need um word divine services will basically find the correct candidate based on your budget ever since i took that leap of faith it's been nothing but blessings i've not had a worry you know in the world i joined um a network called business network international um, and that's a basically a um, structured networking group that helps me strategize and helps me speak, you know, better to clients and and um, help me network better. It's, it's basically been my my um, foundation for everything with the help of, help of God. And I speak about God all the time, um, even though it's not um, recommended to speak about um, certain things in that manner. But I have to because basically that's why I'm here and through that um, network I've made a lot a lot of good relationships and business relationships and positive energy and um, you know through that it opened up doors for other opportunities um, as far as the Chamber of Commerce I met a lot of you know good people and connections through there and just it just kind of spiraled I started a business in October and I'm already in my own office I've already made you know I overseed a year worth of hard work until five months and a lot of people may not understand how I mean but guys I see myself um, within the next year and a half opening up a venue um, a space that would house um, numerous events nonprofit organizational events from and as well as business events weddings um, workshops conferences seminars um, banquets um, as well as small meeting rooms also as just a home for community events because I find that um, there aren't a lot of things going on in a lot of places places for you um, and couples to go to just to relax. There's always something paid that they, they have to pay to go to. Um, I just want to have a home, just a one-stop shop. A typical consultation is basically I find out about you. I find out about your background, about your likes and dislikes and um, what the event is, what's your mission, what's your goal in the event. Everybody not going to buy what you're selling. Everybody not going to be raw divine, raw divine. Everybody is not going to accept you. If you can't do anything else, um, when you support other business owners, just make sure you encourage. If you're not able to support them by attending their events or attending their grand openings, So you have to make sure you just stay connected, you know, with divine connections. And that's where my name came from. Um, I'm sitting thinking like, what should my name be? And I know God's hands were all over it. And in my prayer, I would say, God, just, just, just lead me to divine connections. People who would do right by me. People who wouldn't um, just pray on me. I want people to pray for me and not pray on me. And, and I was at a point where I just was like, you know what? I am a queen, you know. Um, and so I kind of put that together and I was like, Royal Divine, you know, Royal Divine, that's how my name came about. So I believe in Divine Connection.